I'm here with the first IM of India, Manuel Aaron. Hello, sir. How are you? Okay, doing well. <laughs> well, uh, Chess Olympiad is coming to your hometown, Chennai, to India. How are your feelings about it? It's very good. I never thought it's possible for the Olympiad to be held in India, but I think the circumstances internationally has warranted that a country like India can do it and probably we will do it. And uh, what are the memories that come to your mind uh, when it comes to the Olympiad? Well, it's, you, uh, you would have played many Olympiads, right? No, I played three Olympiads. Three. Three Olympiads and I visited uh, two more Olympiads, one as a journalist, one as a uh, coach of the Indian team. Uh, so. I have seen it from different angles as a player, as a coach and also as a journalist. <laughs> but when you were as a player, you played in 60, 62 and 64? 60, 62 and 64. Right. Three years in a row. That's uh, Leipzig, Varna and Tel Aviv. And I think in one of those Olympiads, you played against Botwinik. Yes. And in another one, you played against Yovo. No, the first round where I played both Botwinik Ah, you both Ava. in the both. same. The first round I beat Ava, second round I lost to Botwinik. But I was doing well against Botwinik yes. for some time. It was, it was a very interesting game. I, I saw it and you know, uh, two rooks, knight. Maybe small disadvantage for you, but it was a very nice game. Yeah. And and against Yova, you were able to win. Yeah, that's right. And that, that as you said, he was uh, slightly old at that yeah. point. He was on his way down, no? he was declining. He was already practically retired from chess, the way I am now. Suppose I play against a younger player, sure I'm going to lose. So that time I was young and Eva was old. And uh, But he was a chess lover. He was a great lover of chess. And are you able to follow some of the youngsters who will now play in the Olympiad? The, uh, say, people like Arjun Erigesi, Pragnananda, are you following them? Yeah. I see their games because as an editor of Chessmate, we publish a lot of games. So I go through them critically, I analyze them with the help of Chessbase, of course, <laughs> your software. And I do a lot of analysis, but I don't play it much now. I play only with our children here and some of them manage to beat me. Wow. <laughs> but do you still analyze and do you still write for Chessmate? Yes. Yeah, every day. Just now I was doing it before you came. Really? And yeah. and is it, uh, if someone wants to subscribe for Chessmate, how do they do it? I think it's, uh, they have some, revised their, their prices right now. Uh, it's, one year it used to be 500, now I think it's 600. I'm not sure. Or 650 or something. So they can do it, like they can subscribe online and then they'll get the copies home. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Okay, I'll put the link in the yeah, description yeah. so that more people can read yeah. your analysis. Yeah. Uh, so you have been able to, at some point you would be analyzing without engines. Now, no. do you still use yeah. them? I use only the engine. See, yeah. otherwise it will make a lot of stupid mistakes. You know, sometimes you may overlook a simple thing. And it's very bad if it's published like that. People will know. <laughs> but, but at some point there were no engines. And now you have to use engines. So, yeah. was that change, uh, shift in that easy for you? Uh, yeah, it's easy. It's better. Now <laughs> you don't have to have that much of responsibility. You know? you know, everything is fine. If you say something is good, it's good. Mm. Of course, sometimes the engine is also bad, especially in the end game. The rook and pawn, I think, for example. Suppose you have a rook and a pawn. The opponent has got only a rook. The, invariably, the fridge will say it's winning for the pawn chap. Because it doesn't happen like that. Right, right. But it's amazing that you are still, you know, writing. You are still training young kids. Yeah. And you are uh, still playing against them. So, it's it's uh, fantastic. You are, I think you just turned 86. Yeah. So, amazing. <laughs> that is tremendous. And uh, thank you so much for, for everything that you have done for Indian Chess. Thank you, sir.